Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna show you how I use polymer clay to create miniature paintings. I bought a pack of tiny uprints with assorted styles. As you can see, they are pretty small and they are printed on a water slide paper. So I decided to make a miniature painting with these tiny masterpieces. There are four different styles of print in one pack. I started with the Japanese art ukiyo-e. For the flame, I would like to add a 4mm map board and a 1mm border. First, I place the painting on the flattened polymer clay. Mark the corners with the ball stylus. Then use the ruler to find the border corner's location, which is 5mm away. Next step is to cut the flame off and stick the 1mm border to the edges. It is not necessary to use a slip here, just gently press the border, then they will stick together. Now I have the flame, but the borders are not quite perfect yet, so I use the smaller size painting scraper to smooth the edges and the back. I'm using the original scuppy clay for this project. Each flame is about 5 to 6 millimeters thick. I bake the clay at 275 degrees for 15 minutes. Once the clay is cooled down, it's ready for coloring. I use white acrylic paint for the map board and brown for the borders and the back.
Before painting the borders, I try to do it in an efficient way. I cover the map board with washi tape. Hopefully, this will help draw a super clean and straight line. Right now, the paint is not completely dry yet, but I really want to see how it turns out. The washi tape didn't work quite well as a masking tape. I can see the paint bleeding onto the map board, so I go back to the traditional method, covering the borders carefully. When the flames are dry, I use the white acrylic paints again to cover the bleeding part. I have to do this step to the three times to get it perfectly covered. Now it comes to the most exciting part of the process, transferring the ukiyo-e art onto the frame. To do that, get a small cup of water, dab drops of water on the back of the print, or you can simply put the entire print into the water. Once the water slide paper is fully wet, you can gently remove the paper and place the print on the clay. Squeeze out the exceeded water and pet dry with a piece of paper towel.
Finally, the last step of the process is to seal the miniature with a protective varnish. I use a mask sealer for the back and the borders. For the front, I want to simulate the gloss layer of the frame, so I use a gloss sealer. You can use a clear coating spray paint instead of the sealer I'm using right here. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I will put the material list in the description box in case you're interested. For the next handcraft video, I'm going to show you how I create miniature ancient cave paintings. If you like this video, please drop a comment or give me a like. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.